Howdy y'all! Thank you for joining us today for this unboxing of a Kickstarter I just got in, Autobahn. This is basically, you're working on the German Federal Highway and improving upon it. This is the Kickstarter edition, so I'll let you see if you see anything different in there. It'll let you know here, game for ages 14 plus, takes 90 to 120 minutes to play for ages 1 to 4, or for ages, for 1 to 4 players. Ooh, I just cannot talk today, I'm messing this all up. Anyways, um, as you can see here, you're going to be improving upon and upgrading Germany's federal highway system and basically improve your standing in the Bundes, Bundes? Autobahn organize, Organization. I don't know why I just can't read that either. I don't know. Probably because I'm trying to read sideways. But anyways, I'm expecting a lot of wooden bits in here. This is something I was kind of looking forward to. And now it finally came in. So let's kind of see what this is all about. So we got the rule book here. It's actually not all that thick for what I expected on this one. Because it's supposed to be kind of something a little heavier than um, Alley Cat Games was going into. We got the introduction along with the components, the setup, aim of the game. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten pages before we get to the solo mode. There's a lot here for the solo mode, but I mean, if it is a very big game, it kind of makes sense. And then it has the modules in here along with the stretch goal content. And then it just goes into like an appendix along with a player aid on the back. Hopefully there's player aids inside. This ain't the player aid I just have to have sitting out on the table. All right. We have... We have here player boards, and I noticed on the back, I was just seeing if these look different in any way. I do not think so. I think they're all the same, just color. At least I don't see anything, but I'll show them all to be on the same, just be on the safe side. Then it shows Autobot priorities here on the top. It even says Autobot priorities. I know I'm used to just calling them everything Atama. From um, Stonemaier Games and whatnot, I just kind of do the Otama. Thought these were supposed to be dual layered boards, but maybe not. There's so many Kickstarters that say so many things. So you can see the cardboard chits and punch outs here. And, I mean, bigger ones always punch out kind of easy. Eh, that small one kind of came out pretty easy, too. All right, so we got three. They're not full, like, board game size punch outs, so it's not overly. But I think some of these roads I'm seeing, I thought we're supposed to have wooden bits in here. So maybe we're going to see some wooden upgrades inside of this, and it's just the cardboard that comes in the normal. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe that's the starting stuff, and you just replace it with the card or with the wooden bits. Probably gonna have to zoom out on this one. So let's go ahead and do that. Show you the full zoomed out board. It is four segments, so let's see what it looks like. So you can see here. Oh, let me get all the board in there. I, there's no way for me to get all the board in here, but you can kind of make out at least a majority of it. And we'll take a closer zoomed in look once I'm zoomed in. But just to give you kind of a look at the layout of the board. Because you can kind of see everything there. And it is four segments. So, but you can see like it goes basically what would be long ways. So you can kind of see here it's got the little segment up there. It looks like some type of track you can move down. And then you can see all the towns that's connected to it, along with the capital Berlin. 
along with Berlin, Amsterdam, oh, I was about to say, I thought my board was already damaged, but, oh, trying to make sure I got at least all the towns or cities in there, but cool. I noticed another board in this box too, but it looks like it may not be as diverse or big. Let me see here. Oh yeah, I do remember this board. I should have I should have stayed zoomed out when I was doing this one, but I'll just show it all here because you're gonna have this upper portion, which is supposed to be like employee levels or like CEOs and whatnot, so you can move them up for your company or organization. And then it looks like we have, like, for voting and whatnot, maybe. And then it does definitely look like some type of track down here at the bottom. And this just goes off to the side. All right, so we got some cards here we'll take a closer look at. And I'll separate out all these wooden bits and give you a good look at each of the wooden bits. But I just want to get down to any of the other stuff. Like I said, I'll give you a look at all this stuff. Alright, I guess I was wrong about the highways. I guess the highways are going to be cardboard. Maybe I just thought they were wooden for some reason. So I don't know if this is just... I did see that it said modules and there were some in here or Kickstarter stuff. But here's some more cardboard punch outs. So I just could have sworn it was supposed to have, but like I said, I look at so many Kickstarters and so many things, it's hard to remember each one that's supposed to add stuff. Alright, let's take a closer look at all the wooden stuff. Alright. I laid them out here on the back of one of these so you can kind of see the differences here. And I'll zoom in a little bit, but you can see each color has a bunch of the workers, which like I said, I think is supposed to be like your CEOs or whatever, or people that are working for your company and where they're moving at. And then there's also, uh, looks like little um, guess pumps for each color. And then I notice each of them have this square, but each of them have a different thing. So I don't know if that goes to each player and that's a special unique thing or if that's just something there is. And then there was two of each truck along with these little containers that, look, that do go on the trucks. Um, and I'll just give you a closer look at those. Along with a bag full of these. And they're really hard to make out, but it looks like 24-hour gas stations along with some cars. So, you can just kind of see here a little of everything on what the wooden bits are. And then I tried to separate out the cards. There was a small stack that had... Those backs... And then there's a main deck that has, right? Yeah, I'm just making sure. There's a main deck that has a bunch of these cards. These were separate, so I'm assuming Kickstarter ones. But I'm going to keep them separate for now, just in case. But I'll show those quickly. I'm assuming this is going to be kind of a route building to a degree also. And yeah, I know my thumb was covering up symbols over here to the side. And these are kind of smaller cards. I want to say they might be red um, is the code. Um, maybe the Catan size card sleeves also from Game Genix. I'm not sure about that. Sorry, these are a little hard there. Because they're smaller. And then, like I said, Majority of the deck were these, which there's just a diverse, I'm not going to go through each of these, but you can see there's just a diverse amount of different things on these cards, but cool. 
And I mean, it is good artwork. I like that artwork on these cards for the most part. Like, I mean, I, I, I shouldn't say for the most part. I like it. I like the artwork on these cards. I know some people don't like that type of artwork in their board games, but looks good to me. Cool. We'll get this to the table. See how it plays. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.